you both mentioned trust, I think, or the lack of it that leads to conflict. Uh, I could add one more point, and that is politics, which sometimes becomes the enemy of peace, uh, um, even in the case of uh, the, the conflict in West Asia. But if we were to talk about building trust, uh, Mr. Otorbaev, uh, who is going to to build that trust? Uh, you know, we we set up, or the West set up, uh, multilateral institutions like the United Nations to do that job. But increasingly, countries uh, are not showing faith, and the UN is proving to be ineffective in resolving conflicts. Even in the case of Israel, Israel has questioned uh, the impartiality of the United Nations. So who is going to be that party that builds trust? Europe, unfortunately, do not do nothing in terms of bringing at least Eurasian continent to, to the terms of friendship and cooperation. They're just listening what people in other part of Atlantic are saying. War existed in our planet all along the history. Uh, so you always can analyze the history and draw lessons from it. Nobody drawing lessons from the past. The global system was founded on the belief that every country has the right to make a sovereign choice. But increasingly, we see that when countries make choices, it ends in a war. Ukraine chose the West, and Russia invaded. Israel chose normalization with Arab states, and Hamas attacked. So are countries making wrong choices? Or is the global system failing to guarantee their right to make that choice? World Bank, IMF, they don't want us to enter to the board rooms, neither to China nor India. Strange, but what's happening that we will build our own institutions. So in that respect, changing of economic landscape of the world should be reflected in political reforms. But nobody is listening, as I started in the beginning. Everybody must learn out of their own mistakes. Mm -hmm.